What's going on you guys? So another Dell Optiplex 3090 small form factor. Gonna be upgrades. So I'm gonna slide this side cover panel. So you're gonna press this down. We'll slide to the left. So first of all I'll do is remove the front cover basil. It's plastic. So the 3090, 5090, and the 7090, they look kind of the same. It's just they're using a different motherboard. So guys, what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna upgrade the Soul State drive in here. This one that's installed here is kind of cheap one, but it came with the system brand new, and it's a 256 gigs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this uh, terminal pad right here also I don't need it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna see the screw right here you're gonna remove it and you can install it in here right there on the top you're gonna install it Uh, the reason why is because we're going to install the 2280 and this one is uh, 2230 but we're going to do 2280. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> I don't know, you guys can do uh, Samsung the 500 gigs or I'll probably do the one terabyte Evo Plus, pretty good. And I'm be using a heat sink for it. I'm gonna show you guys this one. It's uh, the sell three Amazon. You can buy it. Basically, it comes with a, he's a heat sink thermal pad and you get uh, the screws on it. Then you have to remove three on each side, install it. I'll put a link in the description, it's available through Amazon. So we can install it is like this. Take the use the screw for it. Just hold it. Oh, I need to get the screw straight. It's installed. Uh, it's got a eight gigs of RAM, DDR4 3200, and I'll install one more stick, make it 16 gigs. This, so you're gonna do is, and you can only install one way. You're gonna hear two clicks. Put this one back. Okay, so what I will do is also I'm gonna go and install the video card. Let me do that. 
Let's reassemble it back. And before I'm doing the video cord, I'm gonna also install a hard drive, two terabytes. This is SSHD, but you actually don't need it. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can get a three and a half inch, three and a half inch, 54 RPM uh, hard drive. It'd be perfectly fine. You actually don't need 72 RPM. So I'm gonna do this, just plug this in. This will be actually perfectly for extra storage. So I'm gonna put this here like this. And take this plastic caddy and just connect it. It's only one way. Like this, like that, and like that. Just install it. And just the wires. Gotta do. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the video cord here. And I'm gonna remove the, so basically the top one, you see that's a PCI, uh, that's the top one, black one's a PCI Express times one, the bottom one's a PCI Express times 16, the blue one, that's what we're gonna install the video card at. Uh, GTX 1650 will not fit in here. So let you guys know that. So what I will do is, I'm gonna install the GT, uh, GT 1030. But also, you guys can use the low profile AMD Radeon RX 6400 low profile. You can use that video card, work fine. I actually don't have that. So here's the video card, and make sure you have to. Replace the bracket to low profile. So what you guys need to do is uh, remove the PCI bracket here, the bottom one. Install the video card. Try to align it. So the video card is installed. Close this. I'm just gonna get this wires for the hard drive right here. Try to get it here closer to the corner. So now what I will do, okay, so you guys were asking me what about the power supply. So the power supply in here is actually, uh, it's a 200 watt. So if you can install the RX 6400 or the GT 1030, it will be perfectly fine. You don't have to upgrade power supply. I'm gonna install back the front cover. The side cover panel and this is what the problem is so if you're going to install the six side cover panel uh you see that right here the line this is where you're going to align the side cover panel right here you see that right there this line have to be aligned right here before you close it on, so. just like that so you gotta align it right here. See that little cut corner right line? That's where you're gonna set the side cover panel like that. It's aligned. So complete. And this is how it's gonna look like in the back, the VD card. Got a DVI port and HDMI port. So yeah guys, this be the end of the video. Uh, what I will do guys is uh, I will upload a separate video for the teardown. And this, thanks for watching. Bye.